Oh, that's enough. Only got one size. Well, I don't want to spoil her dinner. Thank you. Thanks. I thought she followed you. No. McCaffrey, she had on a pink sweater and green uh, barrettes in her hair. Uh, we're looking for a Sarah oh, Elizabeth McCaffrey. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell me exactly where you were. We were, uh, we were at the adopt pet booth. And um, she was. And then we the went dog. to the quilters. And then I went to get cotton candy, she and she was with staying with you. Yeah. Was it the German Shepherd. I don't know. Why? Oh, come with me. <sighs> she has to learn her address and phone number. You know she can't do that. That's why I sold it in the club. She has to be able to get help. I've got it now. Okay. You get going? Thank you, dear. I'm sorry. Yeah. We just assumed that you were looking for a child. Mom. Are you okay? We just picked her up. The pet place said she stole the puppy. She wouldn't talk. She wouldn't tell us her name or anything. I talk. I... I... I don't talk to strangers. That's right, baby. That's right. We're gonna go home now. Did you wash? Good job. Now, kid. Clean plate gets chocolate ice cream. I, I didn't steal that dog. I know. Do you remember this? Now, long before you were born, there was another Sarah Elizabeth. Sarah Elizabeth Flaherty. She came all the way from Ireland on a boat. It was a terrible time in Ireland, but she was very brave. And she stowed away. That's right. All the way across the ocean to make a new life for herself. With a pretty dress. Yes. She brought this wedding dress that she made with her own hands. The dress that she hoped she would wear one day in America. And 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 you wore that dress when you got married? And my grandmother wore it. And my mother wore it. And I wore it. Tell about the boat. God bless Mama. God bless Mama. And Sarah. Sarah and Lila. And Mary Beth. Beth. Amen. God bless Blue. And God bless Blue. No more wandering off. You gave me such a scare. Sorry, Mama. Good night, honey. I love you, baby.
hard it is to get into those medical schools. So have you heard yet? Oh, not yet, but it's still early. I'm sure if I don't get into Cornell, I'll get into my second or third choice, or not. Then I'll kill myself. <laughs> well, don't worry, we'll be dissecting dead bodies in no time. <laughs> oh, you can stop here, actually. What, you live at the post office? No, I live a couple blocks away, but I have to buy stamps. Well, I'll wait. Oh, um, thanks, but I have some shopping to do. You're married with three children. I am. This is the second time I've driven you home, but not home. You know, you're paranoid. And that is not a good quality in a pitfall. I'll pick you up Friday night. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to meet you at the party because I'm gonna be coming from somewhere. Objection. Overruled. What's wrong? What's wrong? Where's Grandma? I I tried so hard to wake her up. I her up. What are you tried to about? find you, but you were gone. You were gone so long. Grandma, what are you talking about? Grandma? Grandma? I, Grandma? I got to her so hard. Grandma? 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 Grandma, wake up! Call a stroke. It didn't hurt. Not a bit. She just closed her eyes. And then when she woke up, she was in heaven. Just like that. So glad you're here. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine now. She's been sitting there all day. Hello, Aunt Lila. Mom is gone. I know, honey. You okay? Of course you're not. <laughs> what are you doing there? Uh, planting bulbs. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'll try one. Maybe. Uh... Okay. Try this. There. That good?
Uh, listen, we, we have some things we have to discuss. Uh, could we all meet at my office tomorrow? No, no, I want to deal with this right now, head on. Rose would have wanted it that way. All right, I'll get my briefcase. Is this the McCaffrey house? I'm Sarah Elizabeth McCaffrey. Well, I got delivery for you. They're from my mama. You, you, you're supposed to wear church clothes today. <laughs> it, it's okay about your clothes. Mama won't mind. Well, it was a... I got flowers. Oh, who are they from? I don't read them, I just deliver them. Okay. A couple more in the truck. Okay, just bring them in. Okay, no problem. In here? Okay. You want to? Sarah should be here for this. No need for that. She wouldn't understand. We'll explain it to her later. No, still, I really I, I think it's clear what happens now. I've always known if something happened to my sister, I would assume responsibility for the... The situation. Lila, uh, Rose knew that you had no real financial need, uh, what with your savings in the gallery. Uh, she wanted you to have something more personal. There's a locket. My mother's locket. It's a family heirloom. I always wanted it, but Rose was the firstborn daughter. It's a family tradition. What the rest of it boils down to is that Rose wanted to make sure that Sarah and Mary Beth were taken care of. Mary Beth, she knew that you had your heart set on going to medical school. And she put aside plenty of money for that. The house and the savings go to Sarah, along with the insurance policy and the CDs and the bonds. Um, Mary Beth, as you know, when you were born, Rose had your mother declared incompetent. And at the same time, she took over the guardianship of you and Sarah. You are old enough not to be your own guardian. However, Rose stipulated that when she died, the guardianship of Sarah was to be passed on. She passed it on to you, Mary Beth. Me. I'm her guardian. It's impossible. That's what it says. Why would she do this without telling me? She, uh, she must have had her reasons. Lou, we go back much too far for this nonsense. Why didn't you tell me? You're not my client. This is my responsibility, not the child's. Rose did not see it that way. Rose never saw things clearly when it came to Sarah. You know that. I will not allow my Beth to sacrifice her life the way Rose did. Lila, it's not your decision to make. Oh, this is ridiculous. I guess Rose uh, put you to bed at night. You you got to ask if I brushed. Well, I'm, I'm sure you did. Well, sleep well then. I'll see you in the morning. Got to say prayers. Lay me down, down to sleep. sleep. Pray I the pray Lord the Lord my soul to keep. Soul to keep. If safely. I should die before I wake, I... Grandma changed the if I should die part because it made Mom sad. <sighs> Got a lot to learn, don't I? <laughs> it's okay. You don't know me good. You go to sleep then and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, Mom. I'm right upstairs. Okay. God bless Mama. 
and Sarah, and Lila, and Mary Beth, and God bless Blue. God bless Blue. You quit? Oh, I am rethinking that whole decision. Why did she do this? Why did she leave her to me? This came this afternoon, but there was so much going on at the funeral and... It's from Cornell. I, I hadn't noticed. It's thick, that's good, isn't it? It only takes one sheet of paper to say no. I got in. I got in. Of course you did. I'm so proud of you. And your grandma would be too. What am I gonna do? You're gonna go to medical school and be the best doctor you can be. Really? Yeah, I demand it. And you know how I can be when I demand oh, something. Oh, Aunt Lila. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna come home for, for holidays and, and oh, no, summers. No, 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 I, I don't do. want you worrying about any of that. I'm going to make sure that Sarah has the best possible care. What do you mean? Well, we have money, Mary Beth, and money buys options. What do you mean, options? Well, there are facilities, good ones, and they're much better equipped than we are to take care of Sarah. But you're talking about putting mom in an institution. <sighs> you know Grandma never would have allowed that. Your grandmother gave up her life for Sarah. It was noble and, and good of her, but I'm thinking of you, Beth. I adore you, and I am not going to let you waste your life. Is that what Grandma did? Did she waste her life? Rose was a very special kind of person. A saint, really. I am not putting my mom in an institution. Mary Beth, there's no other way. Now I know why she left her to me. Morning, Sarah Elizabeth. More, more flowers for Mama? Five more. Don't they know she's gone? No, it doesn't make much sense, does it? Yeah, these will do pretty good in the house if you uh, just cut the stems to keep the water fresh. Well, here, let me show you. Take it like this. They are, they're still going to die. It's better to plant flowers and let them grow. You're right about that. What's your name? <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. I'm Sarah Elizabeth McCaffrey. <laughs> I know. Time to come in now, Sarah. Breakfast is ready. Uh, Johnny's showing me how to cut flowers. Oh, how nice of him. Thank you, Johnny. Just leave the flowers on the porch. Yes, ma'am. Come on, Sarah. Well, bye, Sarah Elizabeth. Bye, Johnny.
What are you doing, Mom? Uh, uh, looking at pictures. Sarah Elizabeth Flaherty came all the way from Ireland on a boat. I know. She was brave and so am I. There's some flowers on the porch. And the card says, to the flower girl. I bet that's you. They're from Johnny. Why did Johnny send me flowers? I don't know. Maybe he likes you. Maybe he does. <laughs> Do you want to go outside and plant them with me? Okay. Okay. Hey, Mad Beth, you sprayed me. Oh, I suppose I did. That means I get to spray you too because of a rule in the rule. That I thought uh, maybe you and I could go grab some dinner maybe before the party. I was going to meet you there. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I, I am Sarah Elizabeth McCaffrey, and Johnny got me those flowers to plant. And I, I, I want to play some more. But bye, Mike. Not now. Don't be mad. Look, I can come back later. The party doesn't start for a few hours. You know? Go inside, Mom. Mom? This is my mother, Mike. Oh. Forget it. It's okay, I didn't want to go to the party anyway. Look, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'll just see you at school. All right, I guess I'm just gonna go then. Goodbye, Mike. Sorry, it's fine. Fairburn Institute, McCaffrey, nine AM. Uh, Sarah. This is one of our activity rooms. They've just finished breakfast, and they should be here for another you know, hour and uh, five minutes. Now, every day, we take a trip into town, and uh, the bus leaves about 3 o'clock and returns at 4.30. Everyone that can handle it seems to enjoy the alley. Sarah likes to garden. Well, we, we have a gardener that tends the grounds, but the residents take a walk through the garden every Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Beth, uh, they have lots of social activities. They seem to be on a pretty tight schedule here. Well, we find that they're happier living on a set schedule. They know what to expect, and it's easier to manage them. Are these people on medication? Well, many of them take medication, too. Keep them calm. Uh, if you'll follow me, please. Uh, I want to go home. Uh, Sarah, just a few more minutes. No, Aunt Lila, she says she wants to go home. But we're here. <laughs> we should at least see what they have to offer. That's right. They each have their own drawers and uh, closet space, of course. That's out of my 
She wants to put her in Fairburn. The people there, they move around from activity to activity like zombies. My grandmother never would have allowed this. What do you want to do about it? I want to crawl under a rock and hide. That's what I want to do. I love my mother. I know you do. But the thought of spending the rest of my life taking care of her, I can't breathe. There may be another way. What? Well, it's not irreversible, you know. Rose taking away Sarah's competency. What do you mean? If you could get your mother declared competent, in charge of her own life, maybe she could live in a group home with other people like yourself. Lou, my mother can't tie her own shoes. Well, maybe she could learn. I mean, there are schools. There are places where she could learn to take care of herself. Mary Beth, she was never given the chance. How are they doing? Uh, doing fine. They only grow when we're sleeping because they don't like us to watch. You know a lot about flowers, don't you? Uh-huh. I, I like them because they don't care. They don't care about what? Oh, uh, what I don't know. Do you work on Sundays, too? Uh, no, uh, I'm off. I just Thank stopped by. Thank you for by visiting, to... Johnny. Uh, look, I, I don't mean any. <laughs> no, no, it was really nice of you to stop by. Oh, oh, Johnny, don't go. I, I have to. Um, she doesn't want me around you. Why not? She thinks I'll hurt you. But I won't hurt you, Sarah. I just... I like talking to you. So, how's it going? Who thinks that with some help, Mom could learn to take care of herself and live on her own in a group home. Oh, Beth, your mother's been like this for 40 years. This is who she is. Could we give it a shot? Okay. Really? Well, you know what you want, and I know you well enough to know that you will never give up until you get it. Aunt Lila, it says here that Mom was taken out of school at age four. Why? Four? I guess that was uh, when the doctors told us that your mother was, well, that she was damaged. She was four when we knew. But why didn't Grandma put her in another school, one for kids like Mom? Well, things were, were different back then. There were no special schools in the area. And Rose wanted Sarah to stay at home so she could keep an eye on her. Your Uncle Henry's signature is on all these papers. Why is that? My Henry handled all the family business. He had very strong ideas about how things should be. He never compromised. Speaking of the men in our lives... Who was that? That. Last Friday, with the oh. hair and the Jeep. And that way of making me feel like I can't put two sentences together? That's the one. I was looking so very attractive, too, wasn't I? Oh, yes, quite. Oh, he's completely wrong for me. Is he? Yeah, it makes me all fidgety. Well, that can be good. 
No, I'm just really happy that I'm not in a relationship right now. I mean, what do I need? That kind of complication in my life? Oh, such a pain. Such a bother. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Okay. I was thinking about something. What? How would you like to go to school? Well, Mama said I don't need school. But you could learn how to take care of yourself. I can take care of myself. Oh, I know, I know. But Grandma did a lot of things for you. And, and now that she isn't here, it's like she's left me in charge of you. I can be in charge of me. Okay, you know your numbers, right? Well, numbers are hard to me. Yeah. This is your phone number. Do you think you could learn this? going to school and you are not coming with me. Yep. Remember we met your teacher, Julia? You liked her? She's gonna help you learn things. I, I am going to school same like you. Uh, I, I'm going to see Julia. I, I'm, I'm going to eat this lunch. That's right. <sighs> I am brave. <laughs> same like Sarah Elizabeth Blair Yes, you are. <laughs> you are. You wanna leave this at home with me? No. Favorite sweater? Oh, no, I remember that ratty old thing. I threw it out twice, and she kept pulling it out of the trash. Can't smell her anymore. No, she never could understand that you are what you wear. Yeah, well, we could never get her to take that fashion risk, could we now? <sighs> she was so impressed by you. Now your work at the gallery. Really? Well, we all choose the lives we want to live. Some of us are career people, and some of us are homebodies like Rose was. I'm gonna go get some more boxes. to the adult school. In fact, Sarah, you know Grace from school? She's in the kitchen. I bet she could use some help. Could you do that? Okay. Right through that door. She'll be fine. Hi. Hi. It's Sarah, isn't it? Sarah Elizabeth McCaffrey. I remember you from class. Oh, yeah, I remember you from um, school. Go get him, Amy. <laughs> she just got herself a great job at the local market. The women in this group house have lived here for years. And do you um, live here with them? Oh, no, they don't need me. <laughs> Come on, let's go out on the porch. That sounds beautiful, Nancy. Grace. Something smells so bad. I think it's the tuna. I'm not. I'm not going to. 
smell that, do you? <gasps> there are various services that check up on them daily, but for the most part, they manage on their own. I just help police people. So if my mother's declared competent, she can live here? Well, this house is full. Actually, it's over full. But there are other group homes. My sister did everything for her. She's in the adult school, but I really don't think she can learn to live on her own. Don't you think she deserves a chance to try? Okay, hold it. Smile. Perfect, that's it, hold it. <laughs> Have I told you yet how proud I am of you? Not in the last three or four Me minutes. Me too, I'm proud of Mary Beth too. Okay, once more. No more pictures. There, is, there isn't anything on it. Um, it's just for show. They send you the real one in the mail. Hey. Hi, Mike. Hi. Sarah. So where's your family? Hiding from each other. My father dared to bring his new wife, and my mom's playing it for all that's worth. Family. So I was thinking maybe, you know, before I left for law school, we could go out and get some dinner. Mike, you don't owe me anything. Yeah, I know. I just go get some... Let's just forget it, okay? No, let's not forget it. You're one of the prettiest, smartest girls I know. Considering? Look, all right, maybe I acted like a jerk. I got caught off guard or something. I don't know, but it doesn't matter to me about your mother. I still want to go out with you. Still. I always did. Come on, you want to give me a break here? I'm trying to apologize. Okay. I'm sorry. A bunch of us are going to go down to the beach tonight by the pier. It's for a dust till dawn celebration thing. Maybe you'd want to come? I'll pick you up. I have plans with my family. Hello? Oh, hi, Johnny. Yeah, my Johnny. mom's here. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. We would appreciate it if you would never call this house again, Johnny. Get him Why would back. You say that? Get him back. I can't, Sarah. I don't know his number. No fair. Get him back. I can't. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? To protect her, Macbeth. Just because she's retarded doesn't mean she doesn't have feelings. Physical drives. He's a friend. Why? Why is he your friend? He's not like her. Sweetheart. Your mother doesn't have judgment when it comes to men. She can't be trusted. What, because she cared about my father? You didn't think two people who were retarded could love each other? Would it have been so bad to let them be together? Maybe they would have been better off. She's not capable of loving a man. Not in a normal way. What are you saying? <sighs> Aunt Lila, what are you saying? Just leave it alone. Leave what alone? Lila should not have hung Johnny up like that. I know. Mom, can I ask you a question? Okay. Will you tell me about my dad? Well, you, you don't have a dad. Well, I did once. Remember, he was your friend? And his family moved away before I was born? Mama said we don't talk about this. Don't tell Mary Beth. Mom. Mom. You can tell me. It's okay. No. No, I don't want to you talk. Can... Mom, listen to me. Listen to me. It's important. Whatever happened, it's okay. I need to know, okay? He cut the grass and the bushes. And he was slow, like you. 
Oh uh, no, he he drove a big truck. His wife, she cooked food in a restaurant. He I didn't know him good. He he was not my friend. I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me? What would have changed? Everything. Why was I lied to? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't lie. Rose, it were well, we thought that it was better. Was he prosecuted? We didn't want to put your mother through a trial. My mother was raped. That's how I. Honey, I'm. I'm... You lied to me. I'm. So, I'm sorry. mom in the whole world. It wasn't until my sixth birthday I realized that she was different. And what happened? She was playing with me and my friends and some kid came up and asked who the retard was. So then when I was in fourth grade I learned to multiply. I rode my bike up one block and down the next. One times nine is nine, two times nine is 18. I was so determined to learn faster than all the other kids and prove that I wasn't like my mother. My parents divorced when I was 15. Mom threatened to kill herself if I went to live with my dad, so I went back and forth every other weekend, worried sick about her. Want to trade families? I saw the officer that she's been talking to. My sister always kept her eye on her. I understand. Beth. Beth! What's wrong? Oh, you're all right. Why are the police here? It's your mother. She's missing. What? Wait, how did this happen? I, I saw her this morning in the garden, and then I went in to get breakfast, and when I turned around, she was gone. Does she have any friends in the area? I, I drove around the whole neighborhood looking for well, her. Well, the school's teaching her how to take a bus. She has a bus card. She could be anywhere. How well can she uh, function out in the world? She's learning. This is exactly what I meant, Beth. Your mother cannot be left in charge of herself. She will just wander off Was like this. Was she upset about something? Is it possible she was trying to run away? She's not a child, and she wouldn't just run off like that. I actually know where she might be. He goes to the mart around 4.30. He gets the flowers put up before I get here. And then he comes back about 2 o'clock for afternoon deliveries. Could I have his phone number? Doesn't have one. How could you have an employee who doesn't have a phone number? You know, a lot of mornings, I know he likes to go over to the pier. I like the water. It makes me feel better. I like the waves. You know, they never stop. No matter what. Sarah Elizabeth Flaherty came in a boat all the way from Ireland. Are you named after her? She was brave. So am I. <laughs> Elizabeth, we can't. That's your 
name. It's pretty. You know, you could write that name on a piece of paper. You could put it in one of these bottles. And you could throw it in the ocean and send it all the way to Ireland. I can't write. Well, I'll help you. <clears throat> Give me your hand. Like that. Watch. Sarah. Elizabeth. It's long. Caffrey. You wrote your name. <laughs> Knock it on down. There you go. Now, take it. Just throw it out there as far as you can. Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Really get, get back there. Throw it like that. Mm. Okay. Good throw. Will it go all the way? It has to. Why? Because you want it to. Eating a mustard with Johnny? Yeah, I see that. Johnny, can I talk to you? Sure. What are you doing? What do you mean? How could you run off with my mother without asking me first? We had no idea where she was. We were worried sick. You just... Hold on. No, you hold on. My aunt was right. I don't know what you're up to, but it ends now. It's over. Look, I didn't kidnap her. She, she came to the shop. She, she came to see me. What? She came to the shop. She said she was sad. Just stay away from her, okay? Come on, Mom. Let's go. I want to stay. I know you want to stay, but we have to go. Okay? How did you get here? Uh, I... I... I took a bus to Johnny's shop. Mom, did he hurt you? We had fun. We Johnny showed me how to write my name, put it in a bottle, put it in the ocean. Really? Yeah. Uh, you, you show me how to write my name? Okay. Johnny is my friend. Mom, I don't want to hold you back at all, and I'm starting to see that that's what Grandma did. I just worry about you. Five, 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 oh, one, five, eight. You learned your phone number? Grace said I can learn things if I want to know. Let's go call Aunt Lila. Where are you going? Well, there's a crisis at the gallery, and I have to uh, fly back tonight. I shouldn't be gone long. I'm sorry you had to find out about your father. Rose never wanted you to know. She should have told me. Maybe so. I hope now you can understand why your mother needs constant supervision, why she belongs in an institution. She got into town by herself. Oh, Beth, wake up. Stop dreaming about what can never be. She's not capable of making decisions. She doesn't have judgment. She, she learned doesn't... her phone number. Well, maybe she'll learn enough to get by, and maybe the judge will rubber stamp it, give her her competency. She'll be an adult in the eyes of the law, but she'll still be unable to function in the world. She'll still be retarded. I thought that this is what you wanted. I thought you wanted Mom to be taken care of, and you wanted me to go off to med school. It is. But I need to know that she's supervised safe. 
I won't let her be on her own in that group home. I have already seen what can happen. Well, I'm her guardian. I'm in charge. And if the judge sees that she can Mary handle Beth, it, then that's the way I it's going to be. I know you think you're doing what's best. But the competency, it's contestable. I won't allow it. You never gave her a chance. Look, I'm gonna be late. I'll miss my plane. I'll call you as soon as I can, all right? Can she do that? Can she fight us like that? Yes, she can. So what are we gonna do? We fight back. We're gonna make the strongest showing possible that Sarah is competent. That means opening up a checking account in her name only. I will get a court date. That shouldn't take long. And could I be the signatory? No. The courts want to see that you trust her to handle money. You, you can trust me. I trust you, Mom. That's not what he's talking about. Mary Beth, you need to remember that most of her inheritance is in CDs and bonds. Couldn't be safer. You're gonna be around all summer to keep an eye on things, and after that we can add an accountant. How much? Well, given that the financial area is the one where we have the greatest show of strength, I wouldn't go with less than six months' worth for normal and emergency needs. No, that, that sounds like too much. Mary Beth, Lila is gonna fight you. You have to prove it wrong. I can be by myself. I can lock the door. I know, I know you can. I just want you to show me because I might be out late, okay? Mom, are you sure you want to do this? Because I really don't have go, to go. Go no. date Mike. It's not a date, okay? 911 for emergency. 911. You know that, right? Okay, close the door. Now lock the door. Lock it. Perfect. I did it. No. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to keep it closed. Keep it closed. Lock the door. Lock just one. Stop. Stop. Perfect. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. She's never been left alone at night before. Well, let's stay in order. No, no, no. She's got to learn. This is fine. Well, stop by and we'll check on her before we go to the movie. Okay. okay. I'm sorry to be so ridiculous about this. Don't apologize. I'm just trying not to assume things about you. What? Well, that you won't understand. I just I don't ever want anyone to ever take advantage of my mother again. What do you, what do you mean? What do you... Well, 21 years ago, my mom was raped. So, I guess that's who I am. No, no, that's not who you are. Look, that's where you came from. Who you are. That's up to you. She has to learn. Just look in the window. You're not going to be happy until you do. I'm going to wait here. I think there's some sort of law against peeping toms or something. She's doing fine. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I live here. Well, go on in. If you don't tell me what you're doing here right now, I am going to go inside and call the police. I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I know she's alone. How do you know that? Look, I came by to see her. I saw you leave. I didn't want to go into the house when you and your aunt were gone, so I waited out here. And you're not the only one who looks after her, you know? Well, I don't need your help, okay? Well, I'm not doing it for you. This isn't about you. This is about Sarah. Or didn't you know that? I know that my mother isn't in a position to protect herself. <sighs> Is it so hard for you to believe that a man could care about your mother? Don't you see how special she is? <sighs> That's what I thought. Okay. 
right now. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Look, I saw this guy. He's a friend of my mother's. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm no sorry. problem. Let's just forget it. So, um, what would that be called legally? Assault? Battery? You need to tell me right now if there's any other secrets in your family that I don't know about, because I can't take any more. I am married with three children. Well, I don't care. And my husband's a prize fighter. Yeah, well, I have a black belt. Really? No, not really. Late. What are you doing? Making oatmeal. Where did you learn Grace? Make... Grace. We can make peas too. You want some peas? No, no. Oatmeal's good. Hi, Grace. Mom made oatmeal. You want some? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what about what about school? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? It's what? Saturday. There's no school oh, on Saturday. You're right. You're uh, right. Johnny's Ooh. coming for a date. Remember? Yes. Yes. And Grace is going to help me get ready, aren't yes. you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Clean this plate, is... get chocolate ice cream. So the entire matter is reversible? The paperwork's valid. Overkill, really. But can you do it? The hearing is practically around the corner. I don't mind telling you, he's buttoned it up pretty tight. My husband was a very good lawyer, but on this matter, <laughs> his judgment was clouded. Still, the fact that both your husband and Rose have died changes everything. You asked for a loophole, there it is. According to these, I don't imagine you'll have a problem securing custody. Good. Very good. I never saw these weekly trees. <laughs> They're from Japan. You know where that is? Uh-huh, it's near Ireland. <laughs> sort of. Wow, look at the fish. Wow. <laughs> I got a secret. What? I think you're pretty. <laughs> I think you're pretty. <laughs> Can I hold your hand? Okay. You know, Sarah, um, I ain't much, you know? I mean, I, I never done anything right in my whole life. Been in plenty of trouble. Oh, you're my friend, Johnny. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> Are you going to kiss me? <laughs> oh. Not if you don't want me to. Oh, it's okay. You want me to show you how they do it on TV? Sure. You you turn your head like this. Uh -huh. I turn... No, I turn my head like this. Uh -huh. Now kiss. Do it again. I love you, Johnny. I love you too, Sarah. <laughs> I can't help it. My mom told me... My mama told me... You're supposed to be married to kiss a boy. Now, your mama was right. You should be married. Yeah, I just heard her. She's back. Okay. Mom, where were you? I was so worried. I, I was with Johnny. I know, I know. He said you guys were going to lunch, but I didn't realize you were going to be gone all day. I had a good time, too. I love Johnny. I can feel it in my heart. 
Mom, sometimes it takes a while to know if you love someone. You hardly know Johnny. Johnny loves me, too. He told me so. Mom, sometimes people say things that they don't always mean. Johnny loves me. Mom, we don't know anything about this guy. Why should we trust him? Johnny loves Mom, me. Mom, okay, will you listen to no, me? No, no, I won't listen to you. Mom. Not to you saying bad things about Johnny. Wait. No, no, I'm not talking to you no more. So some of my flowers could be in Johnny's flower girl. They've really grown. Mom, are you still mad at me? No, I can't be mad at you. You're, you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> came all the way from Ireland to bring this dress. I know, but why are you wearing it? It's almost time for school. <sighs> I can't tell you that, Mary Beth. It's supposed to be secret. Mom, you have to tell me. We can't have secrets from each other. Is it still loping if I tell you? You're eloping? I am going to marry Johnny. He's gonna be your new daddy. Mom, I'm sure you misunderstood. No, no, I understood. I wrote on the papers and everything. Mom, Mom, listen to me. Did you sign anything? I did. I did it just the way he teached me. Hi, Valley. It's gone. You must understand how much we regret. Empty. Some... All of it. Of course, all the bonds and CDs are all secure, but the liquid accounts have been almost completely So drawn. you're telling me that any con artist can walk in here and access that kind of money? I, I don't understand. If his name is on the account, and it was. I'm so stupid. Mom, this is not your fault. This is my fault. Mary Beth, Johnny is... Coming for me tonight. We are going to get married. We are going to sail on the Mom, ocean. Johnny is not. Miss McCaffrey. She seems so happy to add his name. There wasn't any cause for concern. So couldn't you tell that she was retarded? No, I swear to you. I mean, he did a lot of the talking. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. Johnny was going to teach me to swim in the ocean. Mom, Mom. You are, you are going to go to doctor's school, so you will be happy, and, and I won't be ruining your life. Mom, you don't ruin my life. Did Johnny tell you that? He is going to look after me, so you won't have to. Mom, I love you. Johnny was wrong. You don't ruin my life. You are my life. The owner of the shop hasn't seen him. I went to his apartment. It's been completely cleaned out. I let this happen. You had no way of knowing. Well, my aunt knew. I was supposed to be in charge here. I think we have to go after him. You'd have to find him first. And if I was this guy, I would have crossed five states by now. And even if you do find him, there's only one way to argue a case against him. How? Well, you'd have to go back. 
unravel everything that you've done to convince a judge that Johnny took advantage of a woman who's legally incompetent. You might win the case, but there's no way a judge is going to grant her competency after that. Another Sarah Elizabeth. She came all the way from Ireland on a boat. And it was a terrible time in Ireland. But she was very, very brave. Nine two seven eighteen twenty nineteen twenty seven line nineteen ninety eight. Those were the years she lived. That's not enough. My dress. I, w I wore that dress. Mom. We're in here. Hey, Lila. Mary Beth. Aunt Lila got me this. I put my pictures in it. That's great. I'm so glad you called. This is all my fault. You were right about him. I don't want to be right. I think that we need to go after him. I don't think we should let him get away with this. Do you really want to do that? Well, what choice do we have? We just let this go? Another man takes advantage of my mother and walks? You want to put her through a trial? No. And that settles it. Aunt Lila, I think that you're right about leaving Mom on her own. Well, I'm going to do what Grandma wanted. I'm going to stay home, and I'm going to take care of her. Oh, no. No, no. I can't let you do that. Well, I have a choice. Beth, please think you about what you... You can't force me to go to medical school. No, no fighting. Your mother needs to be someplace where she's safe. I will decide where she's safe. I'm, it's not I'm your decision to make. not going to be Look, here. there's no discussion. No, Don't no, no. She's not okay. going to Stop say. talking about me. Don't talk about me no more. Don't fight with my very bad. Fighting so hard to put her in an institution. I just think that she needs. Is it because you need to know that she isn't capable of any kind of normal life? Hmm. Not at all. I just think she needs special care to be with people. Because, because if she handle... could learn, if she could have relationships, then it would be your fault that she never got everything she deserved. I don't know what you mean. Sarah's had a full life. 
She could have spent the last 40 years developing herself. You could have really gotten to know her. You could have had a relationship with her. Sarah can't learn. Rose knew that. Grandma did the best she could with what she knew. You were the sophisticated one. You knew better. You know, I wasn't sure why Lou thought that you had so much power. I mean, after all, I'm her legal guardian, right? Look at Mom's baby pictures. They're all of you and her. There, there are none with Grandma until she's about four years old. I'd never noticed that before. You, you don't understand. Four years old. That's when you knew that she was damaged. Yeah, I, I, I was your age, Beth. I, I, I was so young and, 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 and I was scared. And you put her there. Mom got so upset because she was remembering being at Fairburn as a little girl. You left her there. All the doctors said it was the best thing to do. They, they, they all agreed. It was your decision. Beth. And then Grandma came and she got her out. She got her out and she brought her home and she kept her close. Because after all, she was a saint. Yeah, and right? then look what happened. That man raped her. Yeah, look what happened. I was born. Nobody loved you more than I did. I was so glad when you were born. I wanted to bring you home with me. Yeah, but you couldn't because you weren't going to waste your life like Grandma did. That's not true, Beth. My whole life, I dreamed about coming to Los Angeles to live with you. I wanted to be you when I grew up. You were so sophisticated and so special. And I loved Grandma, but I felt trapped here in this house with her and Mom. But I'm glad she raised me. I'm glad I have her in me. Mary Beth? Yes, Mom? I want to go to that judge and be on my own. Aunt Lila will use what happened with Johnny, and the judge may not trust you. Well, I want to live with Nancy and Grace at that house. That house is full. And actually, Grace and Nancy are going to have to move out. Mom, the truth is, I don't think that we would win. Well, if we don't win, I go live at Fairburn. No, you hated that place. I want to be a good mom. I want you to go to school. You are a good mom. It's already been decided. I'm going to stay here with you. I've already talked to Lou. He's going to call for the hearing. Well, I want to be in charge of me. You go talk to Lou, and you tell Lou I want to talk to that judge. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You need lots of color. Is it for your lips? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's glossy. Glossy. Oh, you are so pretty. You're so pretty. Here. Me. Go. Mm. 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 Pouty lips, pouty lips. Mm. Mm. Now go. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, too much, Mom. <laughs> too much. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, it's Red okay. <laughs> we are going to win today. It doesn't matter. You've done so well. You've learned so much. I'm very proud of you. I'm very, very proud of you. The phone is ringing. You better get it. I don't answer the phone. Why don't you get it, though? You can't answer the no. phone. No! You can't oh, answer the phone. Don't answer it's the gonna stop. It's gonna stop. It's gonna stop. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hi, Sarah Elizabeth. Oh. You, you didn't come. I know. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Sarah, but I still love you, and we can still get married. We can, Johnny. Yes, we can, Sarah. Nothing has to change. You can get a bus ticket, and you can come up here to where I am, and we can it's be together. It's bad. You, you, you can't be bad to me. No more. Please, Sarah. No. I, I, I got scared, and I made a mistake. Was that who I think it was? That was the wrong person. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. It shouldn't be too much longer. It's okay, Mary Beth. I know. I know. Sarah, can I talk to you? Okay. Uh, Mom, we're about to be ready. Maybe you Beth, should. please. Sarah, I have to... Mike. I have to tell you something. Some things might, uh, might come out today, and... Well, I... Sarah, when you were born... I was so young. Oh, I was cry. so young. Cry. I, uh, don't cry. Sarah, honey. Your mama, Rose. She wasn't your real mama. She didn't carry you in her belly. I know you did. You knew that? Did Mary Beth tell you? No. I, I, I remember when I was little. You smell the same like now. So you always knew that I was your mother? Mama was my mama. You made me. And and uh, Rose adopted you. Come here. Do you hate me? What for? For not keeping you with me, for not raising you. Oh, you couldn't. I. It's okay. I couldn't raise Mary Beth by myself either. Were you, weren't you scared when I left you at, at Fairburn? Well, I had blue. Do you remember when I gave it to you? Why did you name him Blue? When you left, your dress was blue. One of the things this court is looking for, Miss McCaffrey, is stability. Do you know what that means? If you tell me, I can learn it. That's a very good answer. I will tell you. It means that we want to know that things are working out for you for a long period of time. One of the problems I'm having is that you haven't been at the adult school for very long. Well, at the school, they tell us you got to learn something new every day. That's true. I'm always learning new things. I just worry that maybe you need more time. No, I, I don't have more time. I got to get my Mary Beth to doctor school. Uh, I have friends to help me. There's also the matter of the activity in your checking account. I did a mistake. Johnny was wrong. He hurt me. How do you mean? Lou said... Lou said that because... Excuse me, Lou. Lou says because I did a mistake, I might not get to live on my own. Why? Johnny did wrong, not me. That's true, Mr. No, Caffey. No. I only got one chance to be a good mama. 
Even, even if you say I can't be free, I gotta do it anyway. I go live at Fairburn if I have to. I thought you and your daughter were opposed to the institution. I love my Mary Beth. I have a petition here from a Lila Hollingsworth. It states here that she, that she's your mother. Your mother. I'm Lila Hollingsworth. It's true, Your Honor, I carried her, but I'm not her mother. My sister Rose was. I have no right to decide for her. So are you relinquishing your opposition to her competency? Sarah Elizabeth McCaffrey has more compassion, selflessness, and love for her child than I ever did. I trust her. Sarah Elizabeth McCaffrey, I hereby declare you legally competent. Entitled to and responsible for all the rights and obligations of an adult. I hope living on your own in a supported living arrangement with friends will be both rewarding and enjoyable. Congratulations, Ms. McCaffrey. And I personally wish you the best of luck with your new independence. And I'm sure like the rest of us, you will continue to learn something new every day. You grow good here. Do you remember when I was 12 years old and I got braces and glasses in the same week? Yes. And I called you crying because that boy teased me. <laughs> and then you flew up that night and you took me to dinner and we talked yes. and we drank root beer floats until we were sick. You told me that night that you wanted to become a doctor so you could fix your mother. You broke my heart that night. And I never loved you more. And the next day you took me to buy contact lenses. <laughs> yes. Oh. I'm so sorry, Beth. For everything. I'll get your stuff. Uh, come back soon. I will. I have to check on my flowers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sarah. There's a, a tradition in our family. This locket has been handed down to the firstborn daughter in each generation. Yeah. I'm the daughter. Yeah. You're my daughter. <laughs> Hi. I was thinking we could all come home for Thanksgiving. I like that. Okay. I'll see you soon. Yeah. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Mary Beth.
Elizabeth McCaffrey. God be with you. enough of LMN? Then visit LMN.TV and get more of what you crave. This is my idea of heaven. Watch new clips of your favorite movies 24-7 and get more of the stars, the stories, and the movie moments that you love. Could we see a little more flesh here? Satisfy your movie cravings with Flixation, the coolest trivia game ever for movie fans. Hello, Sir Google. LMN.TV is the ultimate site for the LMN movie fan. So what are you waiting for? Visit LMN.TV today.